Now, this evening we want to see that seasons are covenants. Na jioni ya leo tunataka kusema kwamba misimu ni maagano. They are created and sent out by God. Ambayo yametengenezwa na kuumbwa na kutumwa na Mungu to serve the sons and daughters of men. Ili yatumikie mabinti na wana wa wanadamu. So we go to Genesis chapter 8 verse number 22. Kwa hivyo twende katika mwanzo sura ya nane na mstari wa 22. The Bible says while the earth remains seed time and harvest cold and heat summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. Muda na inji dumupo majira ya kupanda na mavuno wakati wa baridi na wakati wa hari wakati wa wakazi kazi na wakati wa kusi mchana na usiku avita koma. That says the Lord. Now we go to Jeremiah chapter 33 verses 20 to 21. Jeremiah 33 Jeremiah 20 to 21. I'll be breaking a bit so that you can translate. I don't know. Yes, yes. That says the Lord if you can break my covenant with day with the day and my covenant with the night so that there should not be day and night in their seasons then can also my covenant be broken with david my servant so that he shall not have a son to reign upon his throne and with the levite uh, the levitical priests my ministers bwana asema hivi kama mkiweza kuivunja agano langu la mchana ama agano langu la usiku hata usiwepo tena mchana wala usiku kwa wakati wake ndipo agano langu nililolifanya na Daudi mtumishi wangu laweza kuvunjika hata asiwe na mwana wa kumiliki katika ikiti chake cha enzi tena agano langu nililofanya na walawi wa kuani na wahudumu wa wangu laweza kuvunjika and also remember the, the, the main scripture which says for everything there is a season Yes nakumbuka ya kwamba tunayo maandiko ya msingi katika kitabu cha muhubiri ya kwamba kila kuna majira na nyakati ya kila wakati. That is Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse number 1. Na hiyo ni muhubiri tatu na mstari wa kwanza. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under the sun. Yes kwa hivyo kwa kila jambo kuna msimu na wakati wa kila jambo. Father we thank you this wonderful evening. Baba tunakushukuru jioni ya leo jema. Your grace is more than sufficient. Neema yako bwana ni zaidi ya kutosha. Speak to us this evening. Nena nasi jioni ya leo. And receive all the glory. Na upokee utukufu wote. In Jesus name we pray. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba. Amen. Amen. Have your seat. God bless you. Tuketi chini na bwana awabariki. Now this evening I want to tackle this uh, subtopic. Jioni ya leo nataka tuweze kuongelelea hili somo that seasons are covenants. Ya kwamba majira ni agano. That's why when we read Genesis chapter 8 verse number 22. Diposa unaposoma mwanzo sura ya 8 na mstari wa 22. God says while the earth remains. Mungu anasema wakati inji dumupo. Seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter will never cease. Sema wakati wa wakati wa kupanda, wakati wa kuvuna, wakati wa joto na baridi, mchana na usiku avitakoma. And also God now here says if you can break my covenant, which means seasons are covenants. Na hapa Mungu anasema kwamba iwapo unaweza vunja agano langu, manake majira ni agano. I think you can read there. Basi unaweza soma pale. If you can break my covenant. Kama waweza kulivunja agano langu. Can you put like amplified yes there it is you yes. know then can also my covenant be broken with David my servant you know so that is 21 so give 20 Tupatie 20 you see if you can break my covenant with the day and my covenant with the night so that and remember kumbuka we 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 read uh, the other day i think it was monday tulisoma jumatatu in the book of genesis do you still remember katika kitabu cha mwanzo bado kumbuka let me try to go there again cha twende pale tena you know chapter 
verse number 14 of Genesis. Mwanzo sura yake ya kwanza na mstari wa 14. The Bible says, uh, God said, let there be light in the expanse of the sky to separate the day from the night. Mungu akasema na iwe mianga kati ya anga na mbingu ili itenge kati ya mchana na usiku. And let them be signs to indicate seasons. Na iwe ndio dalili ya majira na usiku na miaka. Are you here? Je, tuko pamoja? The Bible I'm reading is called Net. Ile ambayo tunasoma ni New English Translation. Yes. That's what I'm reading. The Bible yes. says God said let there be light in the expanse of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them be signs to indicate seasons na even ishara ya kuweka majira can i now continue naweza endelea sasa now you understand i want us to establish uh, this doctrine nataka wote tuweze kuweka msingi ya somo hili so that we can move we, we cannot move un, un, unless we have established the doctrine. That's why you see me like going around. I'm trying just to make sure that the church understand. So I repeat again what I said. Seasons are covenants. Or I can say seasons are agents of God's Covenants. So now, why are seasons created? Seasons are created so that men can operate in those seasons. Majira ya metengenezo ndiposa wanadamu wafanye jambo katika yale majira. Okay, now, seasons are agent of God. Majira ni vyombo vya Mungu. So God creates seasons and give to men. Kwa hivyo Mungu anaumba majira anaipeana kwa wanadamu. So that now men can operate in those seasons. Ndiposa wanadamu wafanye kazi katika ile nyakati. They are very important. Ni ya muhimu sana. God doesn't just operate or work. Mungu afanye kazi tu katika utupu. But he works in seasons. Lakini anafanya kazi katika majira na misimu. That's how the government of God is programmed. Hivyo ndivyo ratiba ya serikali ya Mungu ilivyo. Things do not just happen. Mambo hayafanyiki tu. They are ordered by God. Yameratibishwa na Mungu. At a given time, na katika wakati fulani, God will move in a certain way. Mungu ataenenda katika njia fulani. To fulfill certain purposes. Atimize kusudi fulani. I want to give you an example. Nataka niwape mfano. God speaks to Abraham. Mungu ananena na Abraham in Genesis 15. Katika mwanzo sura ya 15. That I want you to know that your descendant will go to Egypt. Nataka ujua kwamba wazaliwa wako ataenda kule Misri. They are going to be enslaved. Na pale watakuwa watumwa. Surely they went to Egypt. Na hakika walienda kule Misri. At that particular time. Katika wakati ule. Now in Egypt. Kule Misri. They are enslaved. Wanakufanywa watumwa. But lakini God said they are going to come out rich Mungu alisema kwamba watatoka kule wakiwa matajiri now, how are they going to get wealth watapata utajiri namna gani so god create a way kwa hivyo Mungu anatengeneza njia and send joseph before his brothers na anatuma yusufu mbele ya ndugu zake and joseph is made prime minister ya kwamba yusufu atafanywa kuwa waziri mkuu not by accident si katika ajali and remember nakumbuka hivi god spoke to abraham Mungu alinena abrahamu that they are going to stay there for 400 years. That is a season. As I told you yesterday, seasons may be longer and some may be shorter. Some seasons are very long. Some seasons are very short. So in your life, God can give you a season. I just want you a season to do something and then give you five years for another season to do something different and then maybe give you 20 years a different season and maybe 30 years or 
ama he can give you a six month season anaweza kupatia majira ya miezi sita tu a three year season ama miaka tatu it depend with what god want to achieve inategemea lengo la mungu ni gani katika yale majira can i continue naweza endelea sasa now once you understand what god is doing basi ukielewa mambo ambayo mungu anayafanya and then you move in the season alafu tembee na yale majira that's why we are talking about the speed of god hapo ndio tunaongea kuhusu kasi ya mungu because if you fail to understand the season kwa sababu ukikosa kuelewa majira you cannot move at the speed of god uwezi tembea katika kasi ya mungu because you do not understand kwa sababu uelewi but it is when you understand the season lakini katika kuelewa majira and what the season is all about na chenyeki nimebebana na yale majira that is when we even talk about eternal imprint hapa ndipo tunaongea kuhusu mambo ya umilele ya mungu katika yale majira that's how we talk about you being carried on the wings of god hapa ndio tunasema kwamba umebebwa katika mabawa yake mungu that's how we are going to talk about the things that you are going to talk maybe uh, tomorrow the next tomorrow about you moving in acceleration na hapa ndio tunaongea mambo ambayo tayazungumzia kesho na kesho kutwa na kuendelea kuhusu kwenda kwa mbio we talk about uh, you recovering even the, the years that have been stolen hapa tutaongea pia wewe kuweza kupata tena miaka ambayo ilipotea because when you move at god's speed kwa sababu ukitembea katika kasi ya mungu you recover unaweza kupata vilivyopotea remember what i said on monday kumbuka mambo ambayo tuliongea hapa jumatatu in one year katika mwaka mmoja you can achieve what people cannot achieve in their entire lives unaweza yapata mambo ambayo watu wanasumbukia maisha yao yote in one year katika kipindi cha mwaka mmoja when you move at the high speed with god ukitembea katika kasi ya juu na mungu you can achieve so many things unaweza kuyapata mambo mengi sana that's why you don't say i'm late ndio sawa mungu anasema kwamba usichelewe don't say i'm late ndio posa mungu anasema kwamba usiseme kwamba umechelewa are we together tuko pamoja because nothing is lost here kwa sababu hakuna kitu kimeche kimepotea as long as you understand what god is speaking right now ili mradi unaweza elewa kile ambacho mungu anasema sasa because god doesn't want you to go back to the past kwa sababu mungu hataki urejelee mambo yako ya zamani god wants you to move from now here mungu move anataka forward. usonge mbele kuanzia mahali ulipo Uh, are we there tuko pamoja because what happened 2 years ago kwa sababu yaliyotendeka miaka 2 imepita has happened yashatendeka what happened 5 years ago miaka mitano yaliyofanyika has happened ishafanyika you don't go back there hautarudi kule but from now lakini kuanzia sasa you can move at the speed unaweza kimbia na muda and recover everything na ukomboe chochote kile kilichopotea depending on the speed kutegemea na mwendo and also depending on the length of the season na pia kutegemea na kipindi cha yale majira if you don't understand that it is a season kama utaelewa kwamba ni majira you will start playing around wewe utaanza mchezo hapa na pale so once you play around na ukianza huo mchezo the season is moving majira yanasonga mbele days are moving na siku zinasonga the time is going muda pia unayoyoma by the time you wake up by the, wakati ambao unaamka it's too late ushaachelewa can i continue je naweza endelea i said the seasons are covenants nasema kwamba majira ni agano When they are covenant na yakiwa agano it means they are unbreakable inamaanisha kwamba huwezi ukayavunja it means they, are, they they remains they are there inamaanisha kwamba yatadumu yatabaki it means god will always work with seasons inamaanisha kwamba wakati wote mungu atafanya kazi na majira there is no way god will put season aside or seasons aside hakuna vile mungu ataweka majira kando and then work with our seasons alafu afanye kazi bila majira i want you to see what uh, galatians chapter 4 verse 4 says vile wa galatia 4:4 inasema the bible says in galatians chapter 4 verse number 4 ile inasema katika wa galatia 4:4 that when the proper time i want you to see this when the proper time had full come wa- or fully come wakati wakati ulipotimia when the proper time had fully come fully wakati wakati ulitimia kabisa so god sent his son Mungu alimtuma mwanae. When the time wakati had yakati, fully come. Ulipotimia kamili. So remember what we said here. Kwa hivyo kumbuka mambo ambayo tulisema hapa. In Genesis katika mwanzo that when God is working, ya kwamba Mungu anapofanya kazi, he works with time. Anafanya pia na wakati and seasons. Na majira. Now when the time fully came. 
Katika utimilifu wa wakati, God sent Jesus. Mungu akamtuma Yesu. Not before the time. Si kabla ya wakati. Not after the time. Si baada ya wakati. But on time. Lakini katika utimilifu wa wakati, Jesus was sent to come. Yesu akatumwa aje. To fulfill God's purposes. Atimize kusudi la Mungu. So God cannot operate before time. Kwa hivyo Mungu hawezi fanya kazi kabla ya wakati ule. Or behind the time. Ama nyuma ya wakati ambao umeutenga. But on time. Lakini katika utimilifu wa wakati. Now, time originate from God. Wakati ama muda unatoka kwa Mungu. Or seasons originate from God. Ama majira yanatoka kwa Mungu. It's God who gives seasons. Inaitwa majira. Now, when God gives seasons, wakati Mungu anapeana misimu, these seasons are not given to God. Misimu hiyo ipeani kwa Mungu. They are given to sons and daughters of men. Imepatiwa wanadamu. Mungu hakuumba usiku juu yake. Oh yes. Ama hakuumba mchana juu yake Mungu. God did not create day or night for himself because God doesn't have night and doesn't have uh, day. Manake Mungu ana usiku wala mchana. Hallelujah. We can I don't know if we can call it day we can say it is just day throughout. Is it day? It's not a day because a day has 24 hours. Yeah, kama kwake ni mchana tu mwangaza siku yote mzima. Hawezi kuita siku kwa sababu haina mpaka. So it is just there. So when you see a day And you see the, when you see the covenant of a day, the covenant of night, it's for us, sons and daughters of men. Yes, wakati ambapo unaona agano la mchana ama na usiku, ujue hiyo ni yetu sisi wanadamu ama wanawake. That's wana how wana seasons are very important. Hivi ndivyo majira yalivyo ya umuhimu sana. That's how seasons are powerful. Hivi ndivyo majira yalivyo ya mungu. They are agent of God. Hivi ni vyombo vya Mungu. And now God gives you the season. Kwa hivyo Mungu anakupatia majira. Now this season is meant to serve you. Haya majira yameumbwa ya kutumikie. I want to give you an example. Nataka niwape mfano. When God gives for example rain. Wakati Mungu kwa mfano anapeana mvua. It's a season of rain. Ni majira ya mvua. It's a season of maybe harvest or a season of planting seed. Now God gives you that season so you can plant and then get the harvest. Now if that season is given to you and you are sleeping or you don't acknowledge the season or you do nothing in the season The season will not be there forever. Basi yale majira hayatadumu pale ni Wait for you. Ati anakusubiri. But the season will pass by. Yale majira hayatapita tu. That's why in our lives. Ndio sababu katika maisha yetu. Rain can come for example when does rain come? Mwezi wa 11. Mwezi wa 11. Mvua inaweza kuja. Inaweza kuja. Inanyesha mwezi wa 11. 12. 12. Mm. Inaisha. Ina, inakamilika. Inafanya miezi mingapi? 2 months. Only. Only. Are you sure? Very sure. Do you plant seed? Yes. Do you have a shamba? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so do you agree with him? <laughs> so rain comes in November. Late November and December. And that's all. And that's all. January inakuwa ni wakati wa kiangazi. Oh, that's powerful. For example, if you go to Lubumbashi, kienda Lubumbashi, you have rain six months. Kuna miezi sita. And you have dry season for six months. Yeah, uh, kuna mvua miezi sita na wakati wa kiangazi miezi sita. Now, when you go to places like uh, Mbujimai, kena mali kama Bushimai, there you have rain for like uh, uh, eight months. Kuna mali ambayo utapata mvua ni ya miezi mingi kama miezi. Uh, and then you have dry season only for Alafu four months. Alafu unapata majira ya miezi nne tu. You see? So it depends inategemea hata hapa Kenya ni tofauti kienda Kakamega utapata kwamba mvua uh, majira mvua ni mingi kiasi kuliko sehemu zingine za Kenya now listen sasa sikia and they, they are changing na yanabadilika this one eight hii, months hii miezi or nane. this one two months ngine miezi mbili it comes again you know so whatever you do not use kwa hivyo chochote ambacho hutatumia becomes a waste kinakuwa kitu cha kupoteza makuharibu ama hasara you didn't use it kwa sababu hukutumia Sometimes wakati mwingine we, uh, we went to Kimilili uh, I think like uh, a month ago three weeks ago tulienda Kimilili miezi kama moja ama mbili imepita maybe a month mwezi mmoja hivi you see some farms unaona mashamba maize have grown up mahindi yamekoma people are harvesting watu wanaendelea ku and you see some people they, they have maize 
that are still small eh? and they are struggling Oh God, please bring rain for my mess. Oh, Mungu, tunaomba mvua kwa ajili ya mahindi. Where were you when people were planting? Sasa wewe uko na mahindi dogo. Ulikuwa wapi wengine wakipanda wakati uliopita? So when you see these things the way they are working. Kwa hivyo ukiona mambo vile yanaendelea hapa in in the, the in the natural, you know. Katika ulimwengu wetu wa mwilini. That is now the same way you can understand them in the spiritual. Ndivyo uyaelewe katika ulimwengu wa rohoni. So in the spirit there are also seasons. Katika eh, ulimwengu wa rohoni kuna majira. Just the way you see seasons in the physical. Vile unaona majira katika eh, ulimwengu wa mwilini. So, God will never leave you without a season. Mungu hatawahi kukuacha bila majira. Because if Amen. God leaves you without a season forever it means that's a punishment. Kwa hivyo inamaanisha kwamba kama Mungu atakuacha bila majira hiyo ni kama adhabu ama hukumu. It is impossible. Haiwezi kana. God will always send seasons to his people. Mungu wakati wote atatuma majira kwa watu wake. Because seasons represent they show the, there are things that are touchable that there is God. Yeah, kwa sababu majira yanawakilisha kuonyesha mambo ambayo yanaweza guzwa ambayo unaweza yaitanisha na Mungu. When you see a season, you celebrate. Wakati unaona majira unafurahia. You know God has come my way. Unajua kwamba Mungu amenitembelea. God is doing something in my Mungu life. Mungu anafanya kitu katika maisha yangu. Here is a season. Hapa majira ndio haya. Tomorrow I'll be talking about something powerful. Kesho nitaongea kitu ya nguvu sana. Concerning the opportunities of seasons. Kuhusu nafsi ama fursa ambazo ziko katika majira. So we'll be talking about it tomorrow by the grace of God. Taongea hayo mambo kwa neema ya Mungu kesho. But today I want us to understand that seasons are covenants from God. Lakini leo nataka tuelewe kwamba majira ni agano kutoka kwa Mungu. Seasons are a gift from God. Majira ni zawadi kutoka kwa Mungu. Seasons are vehicles of God. Majira ni magari ama vyombo vya Mungu. Amen. Vyombo vya Mungu. You know, we can even call a season a servant of God. Tunaweza ziita hata mtumishi wa Mungu. So when a season comes, kwa hivyo majira wakati yanakuja, the season is like a servant. Majira ni kama mtumishi. So the season comes to serve. Majira yanakuja kutumikia. Now when you see a season, wakati umeona majira, you move in a season. Unatembea na yale majira. Let me give you one book we read uh, that is Joshua chapter 13 verse 1. Tusome Yoshua 13 na mstari wa kwanza. We have spoken about this uh, verse or chapter several times here. Tushaiongea kuhusu haya maandiko tena mahali hapo. We can still speak about it until Jesus comes. Tutayaongea na tuyaongea hata mpaka Yesu atakaporudi. Now watch this. Ona hapa. That Joshua was old and gone far. You ya can kwamba, underline gone far. Ya kwamba Yoshua alikuwa ameanza kuzeeka na miaka imesonga sana. Gone far. Try to imagine. Mm. And the Lord said to him, "You have grown old and are gone far in years, mm. and very much of the land still remains to be possessed." Bwana akamwambia, "Wewe umekuwa mzee na kuendelea sana miaka yako. Kisha huh. inasalia inchi nyingi sana." bado kumilikiwa Now let me ask you Sasa niwaulize swali When Joshua was growing old Wakati Yoshua alikuwa anaendelea kuzeeka Was God absent Je ni Mungu alikuwa yupo Where was God Mungu alikuwa wapi And remember Na kumbuka hivi When you read this eh? Wakati unasoma haya maneno Try to go to Joshua chapter 1 Angalia Yoshua sura ya kwanza From verse number 3 Kuanzia mstari wa 3 Let's read together. Watch what is happening here. This is God now speaking to Joshua. Can, can you even start by this verse number one? Just for the sake of our understanding. Now, watch this. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' minister, you know, Moses, my servant, is dead. So now, arise. Take okay. his place. Mm -hmm. Go over this Jordan, you and all these people, mm -hmm. and to the land which I am giving to them, the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Now, number three, every place upon which the sole of your foot shall tread, that have I given to you, as I promised Moses. So, you see, this is a season. Sasa, haya ni majira. 
an open season majira yaliyo wazi wherever you trade mali pambapo nyayo zenu zitakunyana how about wherever you do not trade na je na mali ambapo nyayo zenu azitafika because god says every place sawa mungu anasema kwamba upon which the sole of your foot shall tread it's about trading ni hapa kuhusu kukanyanga it's about moving ni kuhusu kusonga kuenda it's, it's about going you know ni kuhusu kuenda mbele when you trade ukikanyanga you possess wewe unapata mahali pale you don't trade aukanyangi you don't possess upati so there is a movement here kwa hivyo pale kuna hali ya kusonga that Joshua must do na Joshua hiyo lazima angefanya to make this season What can I say? To make the season valuable? Yes, valid. To make the season important? Mm. To make the season working? Mm. To make the season important? Just name it. Yeah, ndiposa majira haya yaweze kumtendea kazi, ya kuwe ni ya umuhimu kwake, ya muletee faida, ya kuwe ya busara kwake, ingebidi afanye vile akanyage. So we can see that this season was maybe long, long season. Tunaona haya majira pengine yalikuwa marefu sana. It's very long because when Moses died this guy is given power I think he was around 40s there. Yeah, somewhere there. Kwa sababu know? wakati ambapo Musa aliaga huyu jamaa alikuwa miaka 40 sasa ndio alichukua nafasi ya kuongoza. Now here the Bible says he was over 100. Sasa Biblia hapa inasema yeye alikuwa zaidi ya miaka 100. In other translation they say he was 110 mia tafsiri zingine nasema alikuwa na miaka mia moja na kumi. which means he was given a season for over, over 60 years na maanisha kwamba alikuwa na majira ya miaka zaidi ya 60 and the season remained open na yale majira yakabaki yako wazi so that he can do whatever he want to do in that season ndipo sa afanye mambo anaweza kuyafanya katika yale majira just trade it is given you kutembea tu kukanyaga amepatiwa mahali just trade it is yours kukanyaga tu kidogo hapo ni kwako so god will do the rest mungu hayo mengine atayafanya for you is to trade yako tu ni kukanyaga mahali pale hallelujah Praise so the Lord. when you do not trade kwa hivyo mahali ambapo hautafika you don't receive bali pale hautaweza uta, uh, kupapata that's how powerful seasons are hivi ndivyo majira yalivyo ya nguvu that's how critical seasons are important hivi ndivyo majira yalivyo ya umuhimu sometimes in church believers are just sleeping or watching things wakati mwingine wa kristo wamelala tu wanaona mambo wanaangalia tu mambo kwa mbali they just say jesus god is in control nasema tu Yesu ako katika usukani control of what anashughulikia ana god will never do for you the things that you are born to do mungu hatawahi kukufanyia yale ambao wewe unafaa uyafanye amen no. There are things you are born to do. Kuna vitu ambavyo wewe uliumba uliyafanya. There are things you are ordained to do. Na kuna vingine ambavyo umewekwa wakfu ni posa uifanye. There are things that the grace has been given to you to accomplish. Kuna vingine ambavyo neema tayari umepatiwa ndi posa uweze kuyafanya. So if you do not move, kama wewe hautasonga, God will come to you one day. Mungu atakuja kwako siku moja. Just like Joshua. Akwambie kama Yoshua. This is an old man. Sasa ni mzee. Sitting down watching. Amekaa chini sasa ana nguvu ni kuangalia. And, and God comes. Hapo Mungu anakuja. Look at you. Jiangalie. <laughs> Look at you. Eh? All the finished. You can't even walk. Nguvu ya mwili imeisha ya macho tu. Let's a lingering, isn't it? Miguu imeisha nguvu ya macho ndio imebaki tu. Aone. And then God comes. Mungu anakuja. Look at you. Mimi <laughs> haona sasa. What happened? Ni nini ambayo ilifanyika? much land kuna sehemu much kukua. of your blessings baraka nyingi much of the things that god had you know amassed or put in place for you vitu ambavyo mungu alikuwa ameweka kama baraka ya lazima kwako things that you are supposed to enjoy vitu ambavyo wewe ungefurahia things that were supposed to be your portion vitu ambavyo vilikuwa ni sehemu yako now god comes and look at you sasa mungu anakuja na kuangalia much land nakwambia ardhi bado ni in the hands of the enemy ambayo bado iko mikononi mwa adui what, what happened sasa kuliendaje i gave you good health silikupatia what happened kulifanyikaje i gave you stamina vitamin power nilikupatia nguvu na afya au kugonjeka i gave you my word nilikupatia neno langu what happened kuliendaje why didn't you take cities mbona hukuchukua hizi miji why did you just take few 
mbona umekuwa na vichache tu 